Now we all know our designer handbags can cost a very, very pretty penny. Some of them more, some of them a little bit less, but nonetheless, within all of our collections, we have some that we spent the most money on. Sometimes so much money, it made us a bit queasy, wanted to make us throw up and made us sick in the stomach. So today I'm going to show you the top five most expensive designer handbags within my whole entire collection ever since I started collecting back in 2018. And we're going to be looking at Hermes, Chanel and Louis Vuitton. Okay, so starting at position number five, this is my first ever Chanel bag. This is a vintage Chanel bag that I got off eBay from an Australian private seller. She was just selling a bag. Now for this bag, uh, there was damage on there that was not properly disclosed on the ad. So this is a corner that was ripped and I ended up sending it to the bag spa to get it repaired, which almost doubled the cost of the bag. Now, so just the price I paid for the bag was 770 Australian dollars. And then I paid another 600 Australian dollars to get it sparred. So just talking about the price of the bag, I only put it in position number five. Now this, I don't even know what type of leather it is, guys. So it, I know it's a series two, but it could be goat's leather. Um, I don't think it's lambskin, could be calf leather. The seller wasn't even sure herself, but this is a double strap bag it has that really gold gold 24 karat plated hardware and the logo here has experienced some silvering that bag spa that i used didn't offer replating services unfortunately and we've got burgundy interior i've just got a bag pillow just to help keep the shape but this is a series 2 vintage beauty coming in at $770 on the pre-love market back in 2018 or 19. Okay, now coming in at position number four is this vintage Louis Vuitton beauty. Now this is a very unique bag. This is pre-date code. So before they even had date codes. This is, I believe, called the Sac Vendôme. So you get two adjustment settings. You can either clip the strap right at the top to get the longer setting, which is a little bit too short for crossbody, but it's fine for one shoulder. Or you can go full Nana style and you can clip it short like this and have it as a shoulder bag. Now this I bought from my favorite Japanese seller on eBay, Brand JFA. And actually I bought this to try to squash my craving for the Chanel classic flat because this was also a turn lock style and I love vintage Louis Vuitton like that is the brand that is most prevalent in my collection not just because it's cheaper but because I truly love that vintage Louis Vuitton vibe I don't know what it is but I really click with it now this has a turn lock that's in the shape of a padlock so as I said no date code because it's pre-date code leather interior this is when Louis Vuitton used to do leather interior and this is when the inner pockets didn't have the vitonite which can degrade over time this has a like a fabric interior so there's no risk of stickiness or moldy or tariness so this is a very unique bag this you hardly ever see anyone on social media with this bag you generally only see resellers posting pictures I don't know anyone else on social media who has this bag. So what I paid for this was about 900 Australian dollars. And this was, I think, in 2019. I mean, really, that was already halfway to getting a classic flap back then anyway. So maybe I should have just saved up and got the classic flap, which still to this day, I don't have one because I'm priced out, even on the vintage market. Having said that, this is a very unique bag and I'm glad to have her in my collection. Now coming in at position number three, this is my very special half moon curved chevron this is just names that i've i've made up for us not the official name black lambskin gold turn lock single flap vintage chanel series 2 bag with the burgundy interior i've got another bag pillow for it I've got organizer in there at the moment now i've only ever seen one other person on social media have this bag and she's on instagram she also has one youtube video but she's mostly on instagram and she has the beige version gorgeous collection she has by the way i'll link her down below she has such an amazing vintage chanel collection so i do implore you to go check out her page and all her amazing bags this has again the 24 karat gold plated hardware, gold, gold, gold straps. The vintage grommets are side by side, not one above each other. The vintage straps have a link 
that's one link missing the interwoven chain. This is something that you don't get on the modern bags, but it is something on the vintage bags. So she's a bit too short to wear crossbody for me. One shoulder or doubled up. But that's why I have these ribbons here so that I can connect any strap I want to wear her crossbody. So she, I got from my favorite seller again, Brand JFA. I think I bought her in 2019 and I paid about 1,900 Australian dollars, which is about 1,300 US dollars. So for, by US prices, that price sounds really good. So uh, just under two grand Australian, which I thought was a really good price for a Chanel. Oh, no way. I bought this bag in 2020, not 2019 bought this bag in 2020. This was actually a birthday gift from me to me. Hey everyone, and if we haven't met before, I'm Lady Vintage Bags and I love vintage designer handbags. And I'm here to show you that you can not only own, but even collect gorgeous designer handbags just on a budget by buying vintage. So if you love pre-love vintage and affordable designer handbags, then stick around and hit subscribe because I'm your girl. Okay, now back to the video. Now coming in at position number two, is my Hermes Sac Sandrine. Now this was a bag that I got in either 2019 or 2020, and it was from a French reseller, which is on Instagram and eBay, and they're called Chick in Lux. And this seller also has a YouTube channel to showcase the products that they're selling. And this is such a unique Hermes bag. So this Hermes Sac Sandrine, the bag was originally named after Sandrine Dumas, who is one of the family members. I think she's a fifth generation family member of the Hermes family. So she's actually a French actress as well. So imagine that having an Hermes bag named after you. Beautiful box calf leather. Now this is one of the older versions. They did re-release this in the 1980s, I believe, but I think this is the older, older version. So this is a very old box calf leather bag look at that shiny patina now i thought so long and hard about which bag i wanted to be my first hermes bag there was many considerations price condition style like i didn't want to dump a lot of money into a bag that wasn't going to function for me like function was so important i needed a bag that if i wanted to hack it to make it more functional for me that the possibility was there like for example like with this Chanel, the strap is too short for me to go crossbody, but the possibility was there for me to hack it by looping these ribbons through, and now I can attach any strap I want. Or this Chanel bag, the strap length is perfect, and these are T-bar straps, so I can actually remove the strap from here, slot them into the grommets here, and have that work for me and just tuck in these original straps. So I needed a bag that was hackable. And at the time, the Kelly was out of my price range. The Constance was out of my price range. The Birkins out of my price range, but also I just don't know how to hack that one yet. And so I was looking for the other styles, the other unknown styles to see what was going to work for me. And what stood out the most about the Sandrine is the fact that it has a detachable strap on one side. So it is not detachable on this side, but it is detachable on one side. Now, what that means is if I need to, I can use a strap extender, which is exactly the type of hack I needed because this strap was not long enough to go crossbody. I could only do one shoulder, crossbody will look too short and I can also adjust this to go short shoulder. So this actually is an adjustable strap with a short shoulder and long shoulder setting. But now I have the option of a strap extender and that is what fit the bill for me. Also, this clasp isn't too fussy. And on the inside, oh my gosh, I just can't describe how soft and supple this leather is. It also smells so beautiful. Like Hermes does use quality leather. Oh, that is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Even just touching this. Oh, I wish I could just transfer that tactile feeling and the smell over to you across the camera. Now, what did I pay for this bag? So from Chick and Lux, I paid about 1900 Australian dollars. So about about 1,300 euro or something like that, but it was just under two grand Australian. So that put it neck and neck with this Chanel bag. I'm really happy with these two purchases. Hardly anyone on social media has this bag. I've seen people on the purse forum, but like social media wise, hardly anyone has it. I think I'm the only person on YouTube who talks about this bag who's not a reseller. So if anyone who's interested in a bag that's unknown, understated, Hermes is quality, you can hack the strap, I implore you to look for the Sac Sandrine and see if it suits you. It comes in so many colors and even exotics as well. Okay, so the final and most expensive bag in my collection, dun, 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 
my white Chanel Series 2 bag. Now this is a bag that didn't have the best purchase story because I asked the seller who was an Instagram seller, has the bag been sparred? And she said, no, the bag has been painted. So at some point it's been sparred. But having said that, this is a gorgeous, unique style. So it's single flap all white interior which can be a bit scary for some but i use it with a bag organizer to protect the interior beautiful 24 karat gold plated hardware no back pocket one set of grommets only but if i wanted to change the adjustment setting of this i can just use a strap shortener like what a lot of people use in their chanel bags now guys this strap shortener you can just easily buy on Amazon if you want. I actually listed it in my top 15 handbag accessories from Amazon for you to check out. So I'll link that video up above and in the description box down below. This is a beautiful Series Zero bag. And this one I bought in 2022. So the price was probably a bit higher than what I thought I should have paid in the end. I, I think I got too excited and I just like accepted whatever price. So what I paid for this bag was 1,300 US dollars, which at that time converted to 2,600 Australian dollars. So that was more than what I paid by 600 for my Hermes bag and my other Chanel bag. Now I have to say this Chanel bag is definitely in better condition than this Chanel bag. But this one I paid 600 less than this one. Now I did buy them two years apart. This was in 2020 before the prices started to go crazy, like just right at the cusp of the prices going crazy. And this was in 2022, right before the prices started coming back down. So this one's probably like not the best time to have bought it, but the price wasn't too exorbitant in the end. And I, what I did get with this one was the original card. And so I used Zika authentication and what she explained to me was this is a card that has that special president signature on it which was specific to this era so that is actually a really special type of serial card to have with your bag now guys for every bag in which i have a dedicated unboxing or review video for i will link them all down below so tell me guys which of those five bags was your favorite and tell me what are the most expensive five bags in your handbag collection in the comments down below you don't have to tell me prices but if you just want to tell me the brand and the model that's the most expensive in your collection and guys if you haven't already seen i actually have a dupe for the hermes mini kelly and I've actually learned after owning this that I will not be buying the real Hermes Mini Kelly probably ever. And I'll tell you why in this next video for you to carry on with.